here at step 34 of 34 on the Beyond Light Quad. It says, return to the tower and discuss your successes on Europa with Zavala. Open director. The destination screen is going to pop up. Go to the tower. Landing courier. Go to Commander Zavala. Talk to him. When you talk to Commander Zavala, the screen is going to pop up beyond light. There's going to be some text. You can read it if you want. It's basically a quest card reclaiming Europa. There are three steps to this quest. Acquire the quest. And with that, you have completed the beyond light quest. After getting the reclaiming Europa quest from Commander Zavala, instead of going to speak with Varix and Charles Crossing, you're going to go to your maps tab and you're going to go to the annex. When you land in annex, go speak to the drifter. Talk to him. When you talk to the drifter, the screen is gonna pop up. The stasis prototype. There's gonna be some tag. Read it if you want. The stasis prototype is an exotic quest. Acquire the quest. And go do the quest. There are seven steps to this quest. Step one is defeat fallen captains and servitors on Europa to collect intel. You need to defeat ten fallen captains and you need to defeat ten servitors. Go to destination. Go to Europa. You're gonna land in Aventine Ruins. When you land in the Aventine Ruins, just go and kill the fallen captains and servitors. When you defeat a fallen captain, you're gonna get weapons and tap. Is there gonna be a fallen captain? Oh, it's a servitor, which I need. It doesn't matter if the captains or servitors are yellow bar or red bar enemies, you're still gonna get the weapons and tell. And I'm done with step 1 of the stasis prototype quest. Step 2 of the stasis prototype quest is defeat one of Aramis's council members in an empire hunt. Requires completion of the reclaiming Europa, Empire's Fall, and the Dark Priestess quest. Visit Varex in Cheris Crossing to purchase Empire Hunt's quest. We're gonna go to map, go to Cheris Crossing, go to Varex. Speak with him. When you talk to Varex the Loyal, the screen is gonna pop up. If you still haven't done a Reclaiming Europa quest, go and do it. Get the Reclaiming Europa quest when you speak to Commander Zavala at the end of the Vion Light campaign, which is step 34. Acquire the Reclaiming Europa quest, and you're gonna go do the Reclaiming Europa quest. There are three steps to the Reclaiming Europa quest. Step 1 is basically getting the quest from Varex. Step 2 is complete sabotaging salvation mission. Go to your map and you land in Eventine Ruin. Add a waypoint to the Reclaiming Europa campaign. Once you get to the part where you have to start Start the mission, just start the mission. Go do the mission, salvation, salvation. You're always P. Step 3 of reclaiming Europa Quest is visit Varex in Cheras Crossing. Go to map, go to Cheras Crossing. Go to Varex. Talk to him. This screen is gonna pop up. Reclaiming Europa. It's gonna be some text. You can read it if you want. Accept it. And you completed the Reclaiming Europa quest. After you completed the Reclaiming Europa quest, this screen is gonna pop up. Empire's Fall. There's gonna be some text. You can read it if you want. The Empire's Fall quest has four steps to it. Step one is purchase a complete two sabotage quest acquired from Varric. Acquire the quest. This is the new thing that's gonna appear in Varix. It's Sabotage. Review it. Since you got 25 hero SPs from the reward when completing step 2 on the Reclaiming Europa quest, you can get European Protector, which is just defeat combatants on Europa. Unlocks an increased rate of earning hero pieces for the first 30 per day. Plus 10 hero SPs, so just acquire it. And since you need to complete two sabotage quests, get the Europa Challenges 1. Complete bounties acquired from Varric. Unlocks a weekly challenge from Varric. Plus 10 hero SP. Acquire it. You need to complete 8 bounties for the Europa Challenges 1 quest. Get all the bounties. And you just go do all the bounties. When you complete both of the quests, go back to Varric in Charis Crossing. Talk to him. This screen is gonna pop up for the Europa Challenges 1 quest. Unlock weekly Varex challenge, so acquire it. And you completed the quest. For the second quest, it says Europa Protector 1 quest. Increase Hero Always collection. Unlock the advanced collection rate of Hero Always pieces for the first 30 per day. Acquire it. 
and you go to the next step of the Empire's Fall Quest, which is just speak with Varix and Jarrah's Crossing. There's going to be some text, so you can read it if you want. Accept it. Step number three, which is complete the Aftermath mission. If you go to map and you go all the way on the top of Europa, there's going to be the Empire's Fall Quest. You can add a waypoint if you want. When you get to that campaign, just start the mission. Go do the mission. All right, so I completed the step. Three. Step 4 of the Empire's Fall Quest is speak with Varix in Charis Crossing. Go to map to Charis Crossing. Go to Varix. Talk to him. This screen is gonna pop up. Just accept it. And you completed the Empire's Fall Quest. After you completed the quest, another quest is gonna pop up called the Dark Priestess. There's gonna be some text, you can read it if you want. There are four steps to this quest. Step one is collect flags of dark from falling in Casmet Ridge to learn more about their plan. Position final blows present a higher chance of finding them. You need 10 flags of dark. Accept it. You got a map, you're gonna see the campaign, the Dark Priestess. You can add a waypoint if you want. Just back out of barracks and go to Cadmus Ridge. Once you're in Cadmus Ridge, just get kills from the Fallen. Try to get precision kills and you get the Fleck of Dark. Once you have gotten enough Fleck of Dark, you go to the next step. Step 2 of the Dark Priestess quest is defend the fleeing Fallen skill. If you go to your map, you can see the campaign, the Dark Priestess. Just go to it, you can add a waypoint if you want. Alright, where's the last one? Oh, and it left the skip left. Once you complete step 2, you go to step 3, which is complete the Dark Priestess Empire Hunt. If you go to your map, you're gonna see the Dark Priestess campaign. You can add a waypoint if you want. When you get to the campaign, just start the mission. Go and do the mission. And she's dead. Read this Splinter of Darkness. Step 4 of the Dark Priestess quest is speak with Varix in Charis Crossing. After you're done with Step 2, you go to Step 3 on the Stasis Prototype quest. You need to have a Stasis subclass equipped on your character, whether it's the Revenant for the Hunter, Behemoth for the Titan, and Shadebinder for the Warlock. Because for this step, you need to eliminate combatants with or affected by your Stasis ability. To make this step go faster, I suggest going to Destination, going to Europa, and in Aventine Ruins. I suggest that going to the Aventine Ruins on Europa for this step because if you see on the left side of your screen there is something called stasis regeneration. What stasis regeneration is that you get your stasis super and abilities a lot quicker than normal. As you can see from the bottom left of your screen the super bar is going a lot quicker than normal as long as with my abilities the grenade and the melee and just like that I have my super again which I can use to get enemies and to get the kills. And I'm done with the step on the stasis prototype quest. Step 4 on the stasis prototype quest is rendezvous with spiders associate in the concealed boy lost sector. If codes acquired, go to the map on Europa and you go to the steering abyss. Go down a little bit, you should see the lost sector symbol as the concealed boy lost sector. Go to Cheras Crossing. Once you land in Cheras Crossing, just go where I'm going. Once you get here, you should see the lost sector symbol. Go down forward a little bit and you should see this little opening. Once you killed everything, that wall is gonna disappear. And you just speak to the spider associate, obtain the skip codes. And you move on to the next step of the stasis prototype quest. Step 5 in the stasis prototype quest is visit the drifter in the annex. Go to destination, go to the tower, land in annex. Once you land in annex, go talk to the drifter.
speak with them. When you speak to the drifter, the screen is gonna pop up that states this prototype. There's gonna be some text, you can read it if you want. The drifter is gonna give you the exotic stasis containment device. The drifter modified this weapon component to safely contain unstable forms of stasis. Just acquire it. Step 6 of the stasis prototype quest is complete the stealing stasis mission. Go to destinations. Go to Europa. The stasis prototype quest is gonna appear. You can add a waypoint if you want. The recommended power for this quest is 1200. Then in Shara's Crossing. Go to the mission. Start the mission. Go do the mission. Build the weapon. And you get the salvation script, stasis power weapon. Alright, on to the next step. Step 7, which is the final step on the stasis prototype quest, is visit Drifter in the annex. Go to destination, go to the tower, go to annex. Go to the Drifter. Talk to him. When you talk to the drifter, the screen is gonna pop up. The stasis prototype. There's gonna be some text. You can read it if you want, but you just accept it. And with that, you're done with the stasis prototype quest. If you go to your character menu screen, click on your power weapon. You should see the Salvation Grip Exotic Grenade Launcher. It's a stasis power weapon. Salvation Grip Exotic Grenade Launcher weapon perks are linear compensator. This weapon's launch barrel is well balanced. Slightly increases projectile speed. Slightly increases blast radius. Slightly increases stability. Alloy casing reduces weight for. Faster reload. Greatly increases reload speed. Decreases stability. Flash free. Targeting this weapon increases the freeze radius and amount of stasis crystals created. Polymer grip. This weapon's grip is made of lighter material. Increases handling speed. Unfortunately, Salvation's Grip Exotic Grenade Launcher doesn't have a catalyst. Interesting trade for Salvation's Grip Exotic Grenade Launcher is Cryo Cannon. Left mouse press. Go to charge. Release to fire. That left mouse press is different depending on the platform you're playing on. This weapon's projectiles create stasis crystals and freeze nearby targets. This is how the grenade launcher is used. You just hold to fire and it's gonna be charging and you just release to detonate and then create a stasis barrier and you freeze your opponent. That's the intrinsic trait. Cryo cannon in action. Flash freeze is a little bit different. It depends on how much you charge the weapon. It says charging this weapon increases the freeze radius and the amount of stasis crystals created. If you just shoot the weapon, the blast radius is not gonna be great. But if you charge the weapon, as you can see, the blast radius is much larger. That is how the exotic grenade launcher salvations grip works.